Good morning, everyone, and happy Halloween. So excited. It's a beautiful, beautiful, sunny day. It's just kind of cold, but that's to be expected at the end of October. I just dropped off the older boys at school with their costumes, and I'm going to get myself ready, and then I have to take Brayden to school where they're doing their own Halloween party, and it's just going to be fun all around. So I am going to put my face on and get myself some breakfast, and I'm going to get this day started. All right, so this is what I'm doing today. I'm toning it down a bit. This isn't my usual craziness that I do, but I got my little skeleton thingies up here, and I got some spider webs, and a nice sparkly spider there, and uh, maybe later I'll put on some like dark red lipstick. I'm not gonna bother now, because it's just gonna come off. I didn't even eat yet, but I wanted to get this on, and so I could get myself in the spirit of Halloween. And as far as what I'm wearing, I don't think I'm wearing anything crazy. I think I'm just going to stick to my black, comfy, warm clothes because it's cold out today and I don't handle the cold weather very well. So like Halloween in the cold climate is not so easy because like you have like these whole costumes and then they got to be covered by a coat anyway. So unless you're going to like an indoor party, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I always hated that as a kid. Going trick-or-treating, you get like this cool costume, then you got to put a coat on and it like ruins it. So... I'm not gonna bother with that I'm just gonna wear all black and I usually just do my face normally I do like a sugar skull on my face I paint my whole face like the like the day of the dead but I've been doing that the last few years and I didn't feel like doing it again this time so I just did some spider webs plus it kind of scares the baby a little bit because he doesn't recognize me so at least he'll know this is me so at least I did something that's why it looks scary do you like <laughs> so I had a pretty rough night I've been up since four I'm not out of bed since 4. I've been laying in bed, but I woke up at 4 and I had a really hard time going back to sleep between the kids, the dogs. My mind was racing because of this trip coming up in 5 days and I haven't done anything for it yet. So I kind of laid in bed for a while. I eventually dozed off just in time for my alarm to ring and here I am. So I'm starting to feel the effects of the lack of sleep already and it's only 9am. So but I'll be all right. So right now I am making my traditional Halloween dinner, which is um, pot roast in the crock pot. Uh, it's nice. It cooks all day. It smells amazing. We go out trick or treating. And then when we come home, we have a nice dinner that's already made and it's so warm and, and, and like soothing because you're out in the cold. And yeah, so this has been my tradition for the last, I don't even know how many years. Um, so I'm just setting that up now. So here's all the other stuff in there getting ready. Some carrots, potatoes, I'll throw some green beans in there too. And then I'm going to sear my pot roast to get it nice and crispy on the outside and then I'll throw it in there. Oh yeah, check that out. Nice, giant piece of meat. I don't think I've done a recipe for this, so I'll just tell you quickly. This just has salt and a little, a little bit of um, adobo on it and I'm just searing it up a little bit. And in the crock pot, I got a can of um, cream of mushroom soup, can of chicken stock, some carrots, potatoes. Like I said, I'm going to throw some green beans in there. I also um, added a branch of rosemary, fresh rosemary, some a couple of pieces of uh, fresh thyme, some salt and pepper, and garlic. I threw a couple of garlic cloves in there. I think that's it. I mean, you could add whatever you want, but that's pretty much what I do. So after after this sears nice on both sides, I'll throw it in the crock pot and let it cook on low all day. And uh, also, very important, you got to make sure to get all the little bits of crispiness on the bottom of the pan. That's important because that is a lot of flavor. I almost forgot. Don't forget the bay leaves. Throw one or two in there, and that'll make a big difference with the flavor. Bits on the bottom. 
that is all flavor. See how that's nice and brown now? And I'll just dump that right in the crock pot, right over the meat. Then I'm gonna take my green beans, which I have frozen, and just put them all around the edge. Cover it up and cook it on low for about, I don't know, eight, nine, ten hours, however long you want. Um, it's now nine o'clock in the morning, so this will be done for dinner time. So I'm cooking it on low. It's gonna be so good. Mwah. And then I serve it over rice. I'll, I'll try to remember to show you that later, but yeah, serve it over rice. It is perfect. Ethan, come get dressed. Smurfette. Ew. We've got the Smurfs on TV now. Brayden insists it's a new show. Is it a new show? This show is older than you are. I used to watch this when I was a kid. Hey, man. Wait, what are you doing? Wait. Hey. 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 Hey, hey man. What are you doing? Hey. You ruined it. Why does it have to be fast? Yeah. <laughs> what did you tell me? Look at that tummy. Look at that tummy, yeah. All that sexiness. Look at that. Boink, boink, boink. I'm gonna get him. I'll show my batching. Come here. I saw his batching the so. Oh yeah? That means Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Come here. Come put your shirt on. Come on, let's get dressed. Oh get over here. Get over here. Come here, man. Come here. Why are you hiding? Come here. Don't hide. There we go. Come here. Get over here. Come here. The kids are home from school after their Halloween celebrations, and now I'm just waiting for my sister Dana and her kids to come over. We just got trick or treater. Oh, we got our first trick or treater of the day. And yeah, so she's going to come with her kids. Candy. Yes. From my teacher. Eh, it's chaos already. Check this out. Oh, it looks so good. If only you could smell this. This is so good. Okay, we'll let you sit a little bit longer. We're starting to get trick-or-treaters now. It's so cute. So since I'm busy, the boys are sitting outside waiting to hand out the candy. <laughs> They're already picking what they've given everybody. That's so funny. Not Wonder Woman. <laughs> Mama, do not touch the hood. The hood is right there. It's right here. BB-8! Ethan! Hi, handsome! Ethan, get this on. Get this on? Do you yeah. command me to get it on? Yeah. Take that dress. Say, I command you to I get it on. I love that dress. I command you. It's not that dress! I know, dress. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> it's not a joke. Put your hat back on. Yeah. And then he kept that rotted. Ro uh, I'm looking at Robin. I'm looking at Robin. Yeah, take off his bib. Hi, Robin. Wow. We got Batman. Wow. Robin. Look at the Italy. Miss Brown was Robin. Wow, oh, yes? Robin. What? Wow. Wow. How did I break it? You broke it? here all by my lonesome with the wagon and the baby. How do I get the babysitting job? That's okay. I get to watch.
Not too bad. All right, so we're done trick-or-treating. We just had dinner and dessert, and now the kids are settling down, watching some TV before bed. I'm just cleaning up the kitchen a little bit, and then I'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed because I'm tired. It was a good Halloween overall. As always, it's good Halloween. And uh, Ethan did a good job of keeping up with his brothers. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Happy Halloween.